Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason and welcome to my WeGink AI tutorial. In it, I'll be showing you how to make a website using WeGink AI. You can use WeGink AI for completely free. All you'll need to do once on WeGink.ai, you'll go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on build your site. After selecting build your site, you'll be redirected to a new page. And you can type in the type of website that you would like to create or you can choose from one of their suggestions right here so let's say for example i would like to create an event landing page with details time and location i can select that then after entering the prompt you're going to tap on enter then you'll just give it a few seconds and you can see since you're using the free plan at the moment to continue, you'll need to log in and sign up. So you can sign up using your email address or you can sign up using your Google account. So I'll be creating an account using my Google account. Once you have created your account, what kind of work do you do? And you can select whether you're a freelancer, small business operator, or any one of these options. After you have done that, the AI will ask you, have you created any websites before? And you can select yes or no. Then next question, what brings you to WeGink today? Whether you're just messing around, create new websites or revamp existing websites or hosting. After you have done that, what is your website for? Whether it is for personal use or for work. I'm going to be selecting for personal use. Then after doing that, you can tap on create unique website now. Once you have done that, you can continue entering some prompt. So from here, you can suggest the primary purpose of your website. So remember that I had selected it is for an event. So I can select whether event promotion or personal blog or product display, or you can type in whatever type of website you would like to create right there. After you have entered your prompt, once more, you're going to tap on enter. Then after doing that, you can see right here, let's keep our eyes on the prize make sure you were you're gearing towards an event landing with all the juicy details time and location and you can see right here do you already have a name in mind or you want to use one of their suggested names i'm just going to use one of their suggested names for this example sake and again i'll tap on enter after you have done that it will ask you one more question whether you would like to which one of the languages you would like to use so I'm going to suggest English. Then it will give us a breakdown of our prompts thus far. So you can see if website name, event extravaganza, website language, website type. Then you can type in OK now and tap on enter. After you have done that, you will give the AI a few seconds while it is composing our website in the background finish you can see a preview of your website right here and you can scroll down and look at it so you can see how it looks right there you can also preview how it would look on mobile by tapping on the mobile icon in the top right hand corner once you're finished you'll tap on chat to edit in the top left hand corner after you have done that if you would like the AI to further assist you you can do that in the bottom right hand corner as you can see right here so you can choose whether you would like it to further assist you by tapping right there on the chat. So you can see how it looks. Once you have tapped on the message icon, you can now edit your website. So if you would like to add any pages, you can do that by typing it in right here. Or you could manually add the pages by going over to the top left hand corner, tapping right where you see home. Then from there, you could tap on the icon that says add page. After you have tapped on that icon, if you were on their paid plan, you'll be able to add more pages. But because we're on the free plan, we'll only get access to three pages. So this is the home page. You could view the details page by tapping on details. Then from there, you can manually edit any section you want by selecting the section, then tapping on the pencil icon, which says edit text. Or if it is a case that you'd like to use the AI to edit the section, you can type in a prompt in the bottom right hand corner. You can also add different sections by tapping on add section. And then you could type in what type of section you would like to create in the bottom right hand corner. 
again you would simply type in a prompt and you can see how our website looks right there and if you don't like a particular section you could tap on regenerate after you have tapped on regenerate you'll give it a few seconds and you can see that it is designing this section once more so you can see the new style and you could see the original style how it looked before if the new style is okay to you you will tap on the sticky and then you can continue scrolling down and editing your website you can also tap on the capital a in the top right hand corner and from there you'll be able to change the theme color and you can also change the font style and size once everything is to your liking as you can see right here you will tap right where you see unpublish from the top navigation bar and you can see the free domain name that we have been provided with you could edit the domain name to your liking then you will tap on publish once you have tapped on publish you will give it a few seconds and you can see that our website has been published so if we were to tap on copy and then paste it in right here you can see how our website looks so this is our website at the moment as you can see here so it does look professional and all of this was created using WeGink AI so once you are finished you will tap on the X then from there you could simply go over to the left hand menu option and you could tap on details and then you can continue editing if you want or you can simply close out hope you found this video helpful and informative on how to use WeGink AI Website Builder.